Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. So it's the morning of day 33. We just for finished our whatever horde it was. I have no idea. Um, so uh, what I'd like to do today, uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've recorded. So I went through and just watched my last episode just to see what I, what I had going on. I think we want to try and get out of this town. Now we've been like, yeah, the, this, the serious lag delay from downtown is like really killing me here. Uh, and it's just because the downtown is so big. Um, I've generated uh, other worlds in Darkness Falls and that have large cities with no downtown and I've had zero issue with lag. It's only the cities with downtowns that are giving me a lag issue. Um, and it's pretty apparent. Like as soon as I turn away from downtown, it's fine. As soon as I turn back, it's like chunky, right? So yeah. Anyway, I think we're going to go to Bobstown. If we have a quick look at the map here. Pull back. So it's really just here that's giving us the issue. Now, Bobstown is right here. Uh, I have no idea what's in there because we haven't been through there yet. So we're going to go take a, a trip through Bobstown and find out what he's got going on over there. Um, and I think I want to build... Um, I'm thinking about building a hybrid horde uh, main base, but not in a POI. Just build it separately. I think I might build a block base with... Um, directly underground underneath it it would be our where all of our stuff is so even if they, the zombies pull the base down i mean all of our stuff will be safe it's not going to be in the actual tower itself it'll the tower will just collapse on top of where our base is and our base will be down like five or ten blocks underground so it'll be fine um i'm thinking that's what we're going to do i may change my mind when we get over there we'll we'll figure that out i got all the stuff in my uh backpack here ready to go but we do have three skill points Picked up three three levels last night, so we're level seventy. We're getting close to getting being able to make the um, uh, coal carbine. We need five more levels, so we're pretty close to that. Um, I think that's going to be our not primary weapon, but another one of our uh, major weapons. We'll probably just roll with a coal coil carbine and uh, the coil shotgun as long as we can keep up our production of ammo. I don't, I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. Then we'll have a regular, hopefully we can find an auto shotgun, um, but we'll have a regular shotgun too just to use our regular ammo with on Horde Knights and stuff. We can just choose which weapon we want to expend ammo on. And we've also, we'll also have the M4 for Horde Knights as well. So, so that's the plan. Now, let's get out of here and head over to Bob's. Yeah, so the amount of loading slash unloading issues I get with this map are... Um, just, it, it has to be a function of the large cities. Like I said, I, I've got an offline playthrough that I'm playing right now where I got rid of the big cities. Um, sorry, that's not true. I mean, there's big towns, but the cities themselves, so there's four stages. There's the, there's the old western town, rural town, regular town, and then like the city um, kind of stage of the city. And the, the city is the one that has the downtowns in them. And... I re re severely reduced the number of those, so there's only a handful of um, cities on the map, and I haven't been to them yet. Uh, but all of the other ones, with all just like the regular towns and rural towns, I made the actual size of the generation for those bigger, which was great because now I've got you know big cities or big towns to go through where there's lots of stuff, but no downtowns to worry about lag. And I've had zero lag on the map, like none at all, like not like this. You know, and I and I, I like to say that oh maybe it's got something to do with me recording at the same time, but it doesn't because every time I load in and I get ready to record an episode, the lag is still there. Like everything just needs to load in. And it's all laggy, it's all problems, right? So it's got nothing to do with that at all. Now when we get into this town, it'll probably be a good, good. Uh, like I mean, it's already less chunky here, right? So um, we'll see how it goes once we get in here. Um, but I've discovered a couple things on Darkness Falls that I did not know, um, which are going to help us out. So apparently mastery books will show up sometimes, I believe at Caitlin's place, which we haven't discovered yet. So we can sometimes buy mastery books there. But apparently when you do 30 quests for the traders, if you go in with 100 grand, I think it's 100 grand in your inventory, then you have an opportunity to... Um, buy the mastery skill off them for who whatever they, they've got so i know hugh's got hunting and laborer 
Jen's got scientist, and then there's, I think Bob's got mechanic. So they're, each one's got something different. So we should crank up our uh, um, jobs for these guys here. So let's just see your inventory real quick. I want to get rid of this stuff, and then I, I don't, maybe we'll take a job from him. Um, and go into downtown, or his town, and hopefully find some stuff um, to make it worthwhile staying here. So we got 37,000. I don't think he's, I don't think he's probably got a lot here. This he's got something amazing. Look, he's got a helicopter, right? Oh yeah, we got three skill points to spend too, so I'm going to go ahead and spend those two. I already know what I want to spend them on. Uh, but we're going to have a quick look through here just to see if there's anything that we need. Any hazmat? Every once in a while you'll find a piece of hazmat in the clothing. It's super rare though. I've been keeping my eye out op for I'm not going to buy the man mannequins at this point either. I don't want them in my inventory right now. Okay, so. Uh, do we have a job from you? I don't think we do. Do have any jobs? Alright, um, so we could do up to tier 4. There's no point though. Let's do some quick uh, quick quests here. Let's go explore the town. Um, I think that's... Yeah, so we're going to do quicker crafting, I think. So yeah, we're going to dump the three points straight into quicker crafting. It's a 30% increase in crafting times, which I think we need moving forward. Without that, it's going to like take forever to make ammo and stuff. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, hey. How's it going? Yeah, it's funny, because I've been watching a lot of the other YouTubers now. They've been playing um, Darkness Falls. And they've all been playing with feral scents off although I don't know if all of them are like I've only watched a handful so but I noticed 90 minute days is kind of a um, I don't want to say a default but a lot of people play on 90 minute days and I understand I totally understand because there's a lot to do in Darkness Falls I haven't been doing that but I actually might where'd you come from I actually might switch it to 90 minute days it might help us out a little bit I'm gonna put those in there for now all right let's go into town Okay, so what do we got here? Looks like we got a drive-in. This POI I haven't I haven't raided yet, so I don't know anything about the drive-in. Um, I know Guns, Nerds, and Steel has got his horde base set up in the drive-in. I didn't actually see the episode where he went through it. I guess he cleared it out. I I I've only been tuning into some of the, his later episodes, so I didn't actually see. Yeah, so this is kind of like a. Uh, yeah, this is like a warehouse or the um, in, not industrial area of town, so that's good. But yeah, I only saw like him build his horde base, which is pretty impressive, I gotta say, the horde base is pretty big. But I'm thinking that making that pit base, after seeing what some of these, um, what some of the uh, like titans can do, um, I have a feeling they're gonna be ripping a hole through the bottom of his base. I could be totally wrong, here's the passing gas here. I could be totally wrong. But I, I have a feeling that they're gonna that those titans are just gonna tear a, a hole through the bottom of his base, and that'll be it for him. I mean, it's a big enough base; it will probably stand. But he's gonna have to do a lot of repairs, I think. Because the last thing you want to do is get them, get the zombies um, all conglomerated in one spot. Like, I mean, it's great if you're using explosives, which he is, but it, it's also bad because. I gotta kill this guy too. Sorry, buddy. You gotta go. I ran into a couple of issues where I've crashed to the. Uh, I've crashed out. Not crashed out, but went to the console with those guys around. It's only when those guys are around, and I can't tell you why it happened. It's like two random occurrences. One of them almost got me killed because he was trying to help me with a. Um, uh, he was actually trying to help me kill some zombies in a, uh, you know, cable guys never made it. And they were radiated cable guys. So as I'm fighting them, I all of a sudden crash, and they almost killed me. Because, I mean, I had to, like, you know me, I don't have the best hands in the world. So I had to, like, click off the console, regain myself, and uh, get moving again. I'm actually thinking about, like, these guys don't see this as a... Something that's an obstacle. I'm sure it'll get packed out at some point, but I'm thinking about surrounding my base with that. Right? So that, you know, when the zombies are, like, trying to come to the base, they just can't get there. Or it'll take them a long time to figure it out. They don't even beat on it. They just kind of keep running against it, you know? 
Okay, we're gonna grab all this before we go in. Ah, I got a broken arm. God damn it. Alright, we need to make a splint. Um, splint is what? It's wood fibers and cloth, which should be no problem getting cloth. Got these broken up though. Before we reset this place. Yeah, yeah. Did I get that coming out of the bit out of my house? I may have, because I jumped down and I missed the uh, floor, or I may have gotten clipped by somebody here. I don't know. Come on, cloth. Ah, eh, no. Don't need these though. Um, I'm gonna grab this raw stuff though before we go in. Okay. Uh, plant fiber. We can probably get some over here. Yeah, it looks like there's a bit here. I just need one four. I think it was four. You get the knife! Hack and slash! Can we get cloth if I wrench these? Or if we set the alarm off? Ooh, chainsaw. I'm staying away from power tools. They call them screamers. And I've seen some of the screamer hordes in Darkness Falls. Ooh, there's an auger. They're pretty damn nasty. I think if I wasn't playing like horde every you know, three to four days, or sorry, two to four days. I, I would probably be okay with using the power tools, but I can't afford you burning my ammo on friggin' screamer hordes. You know? All right, let's go see where this is here. Main floor. All right, I don't want to spend too much time in here. Yeti, 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 yeti. I wonder if that's a runner outside. Doesn't sound like it. I'm just... Paranoid of watering hordes. Oh yeah, so there was another comment too. Um, somebody mentioned that I was like trashing recipes that I haven't read yet. And it's true, I do. I have been trashing all of the recipes. Um, but it's only for stuff that I know I'm not going to use. Or I know I've already got. Um, but hasn't um, registered yet. So for... Oh, hey! So for some of these... Um, where are you? That's my resources. So for some of these, um, it's just because... Okay, so the pipe bombs can go. So the hammer I don't really care about. Leather armor I don't care. Iron armor I don't care about. And workbenches, even though it says use the workbench schematic, I don't have to because I'm, I've already got the... Uh, um, what's it called? The uh, laborer class, which gives me that already. So there's a... Oops. Uh, yeah, hang on a minute. Don't fight me till I'm ready. I hate it when people do that, you know? It's like, you want to fight mono a mono, 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 I have no problem with that, but, like, wait till I'm ready. Alright, we're done here. Cool, now I can just grab resources. Let's just grab a bit of this. So, yeah, as I was saying, like, uh, there's stuff that I don't need. Um, because I, don't kn I know I'm not going to use it. That's just me personally. Everyone's gameplay is a little different. So you might use different stuff. Um, like some people like heavy armor. I generally don't. I prefer the lighter armor. So I don't read like... Oh, hey, there you are. I knew someone was in here. I generally don't read the heavier armor recipes because I I'm not going to use them, right? So that's the only reason why I don't do it. Uh, let's break into you with this. Come on. You know, and then there's some other stuff, um, like this, like the knives I don't really care about, right? But then there's other stuff that will show up. Like, for instance, reloading weekly. Um, this was like a while back, actually, that a person mentioned on episode 15, but it was just recently. But yeah, um, so, um, uh, things like, um, reloading weekly, um, even though you may have read all four of them, they won't necessarily, I'm going to... I'm gonna go upstairs and get to the uh, final loot too. Um, it won't necessarily um, um, close that. Ah, shit! Really, guys? Come on, you fuckers! It won't show you that you have all of them um, unless you can actually use all of them. 
So even though if you've read four, did she actually... She glitched through. I think she died in the wall too. Sorry about that lady, but uh, it's me or you and it's not going to be me. That's all I got to say about that. Um, okay, some ammo. Not bad. I'm going to take these apart though. So yeah, like like, like Reloading Weekly is a good example. So if you read all four books, but you're only like... Is that a wandering horde? You might be a level that you're, you're not able to use all four. So even though you find another one, it'll say, hey, hey, you don't have this. But you do. So some of them are like that. Um, but yeah, like like I said, I, there's some stuff I just will never use that I just trash, you know? Because I would rather have the extra pages to get the masteries earlier. But then if I need it later, you know, I'll go and get it. So, like, sometimes I'll take the grenade schematics. Sometimes I won't. You know, sometimes I'll use them. Um, uh, and then other times I just won't bother, you know? Because I know I'll, I'm going to have scientist class which will allow me to, to make them. So I'll just, like, not bother taking it right away because eventually I'm going to have it anyway. I should probably close that hatch. Just in case. Alright, that's the last one of these. Let's grab this bird nest real quick. See if there's an egg in here, but I think we can... We might get cloth out of this. Yeah, no eggs, but we will go ahead and uh, break this up for the... Hopefully there's cloth. Oh, we got one. Well, that would figure. Do we have anything we can scrap for cloth? Yeah, nah. Although we did reset this, so maybe there's something in here. Come on. Nothing. Well, that's not good, is it? At least we could get out of there. Let's not go in that thing. Alright, some stuff to sell. Lockpicks, that's always a bonus. I'm gonna grab the fuel if it's here. Nothing. Uh, scrap you. Drop you. Kill you. Alright, what's in here? I want to break these, uh things apart before we go here. Actually, you know what? We don't really have time. Actually, is there anything in these guys? Nothing. Our friggin' arm will be fixed by the time we find cloth. That's the problem. That's like me. Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's go back to the trader. I'm not seeing anything immediate here I want to go after. And then, um, hopefully we can see something on the way back. That we may want to just kind of go ahead and raid. Alright, well we didn't see anything amazing on the way back. There was a working stiff tools that I passed by. But it's not um, one of the older ones where they have the uh, bench clearing brawls where everybody comes to, like piling out of it. So let's grab uh, the most expensive things. I want money. Let's take those two. Alright, now jobs. You got anything that's just real quick here. Those are all clear zombies. Um, a couple of fetches. Ooh, northwest. I'm in a bit of a quandary. Yeah, old house. We could do that. And let's sell this stuff first before we go. Uh, we don't need you. Yeah, I'm selling the power tools. Ooh, we got like 195 of those already. Uh, we can sell as much of that as we can get out of there. That can go. Want to hang on to those? I think that's all we want to sell. The wheel, um, I can't remember how many we have, so I'll hang on to it. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, let's just drop this stuff in the bike. And, yep. Alright, let's get into downtown. Oh, it's just over here. Is this it here? Well, wouldn't that be nice? I think it is. Yeah, nice. There should be a car in here too. Uh, a motorcycle. Well, that's actually really good. Uh, let's just try and take this apart for the gas and for the parts. Yeah, this guy's coming back. What's up, buddy? 
Now, did we pick up any cloth? We got four. Um, I put the friggin' plant fibers in the car. Or in the bike, I mean. Ugh. Well, we got ten minutes left. We still may as well make the splint. Where is the uh, fibers? Alright. Uh, craft one of those. Alright, let's dig up this stuff. A couple of them here. I hear ya. Thank you for showing up and adding to my kill counter. Alright, let's use you. Okay, cool. Now we can just drop this stuff in here. Except for maybe... We're gonna keep that. You can get sold. So if you haven't noticed, I, I updated Darkness Falls as well, so... Um, <coughs> all, you may have seen like, all the icons are being a little bit different now. And that's because, like I said, I updated... Oh, good, this is in the attic, so we don't actually have to go down into the insane basement of this place. Which is, like, in the sewers. Now, there's half-decent loot down there, but... Like I said, we're in a time crunch, so we're not going to go do that. I think got in there. I'm good in there. Wrong one. Take this one out. There we go. So the question is, is that on the second floor? Or upstairs? Yeah, it should just be in here. No. It's in the attic. Even better. Yeah, I know this house pretty well. Should be... Sometimes there's one guy up here. And sometimes not. Which I think we're getting getting off scot-free today. Beautiful. Grab you. Perfect. Now, I'm sure there's stuff here that we could grab, but... We're just gonna grab the, uh... The cobblestone and we'll get the hell out of here. There's lots of other stuff in this place, but... Like I said, we're trying to get jobs done for Bob now, so I'm actually going to grab this for the plastic. And that for the plastic, if there is any. No? Okay. Should be able to just hop out this way. Down under the roof. And there's a bag up there. Let's just check that real quick. You never know. Ah, not a lot, but we'll take it. We will take it. Alright, good enough. Let's get back to Bob here. So yeah, like I said, I think Bob gives us... Um, the Mechanic Master Class, which would be nice. That's still 100,000 though. Like, it's a, a lot of coin. Alright, uh, we'll take the shotgun ammo for sure. And I'm going to take the 9 skill notes. Much as the 9mm is attractive, I'm thinking that... Um, we, start, we need to start to work towards getting another Mastery Book. Oh, uh, this... that's... Hmm... Nah, I think I gotta go ammo. I think I gotta go ammo more than, more than anything right now. Alright, um, do you have any jobs? Do you have any... F there was another tier 3 fetch here. There we go, northeast. Thank you. Um, and I think we can sell you this. I think that's it, right? What, the engine? Sure. You come back right. sometime. Bye, Tex. Alright, can to stop off and smoke this guy. Nothing. I'm trying to get ha I'm like hazmat stuff now, like so milit like the uh, uh the hazmat fiber is getting really really hard. Like it's super hard to find. Even in my offline playthrough I'm having like I'm an impossible time finding it. Now I know we could probably farm it at the uh the uh, quest we got to go do for Eve, which is the bunker. Um, but I just actually watched Kane. Like I know, how, I know how the bunk bunker works, so um, I wasn't worried about watching Kane's episode where he went and took it on. But he was saying that apparently it's bugged out now for some reason. So you got to kind of go in, run through it once, and then start the quest and run through it again if you want to get the zombies to kill because I think he said the spawners aren't working. Oh, Savage Country. Alright, let's see where this is. Put you guys in there. So yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to, to
to do that very effectively. Now, back corner. Is there a door back here? Is there a door? So I've got a wandering horde yet either. You know what though? Darkness falls, baby. Doesn't mean we're not going to get our ass handed to us. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm under here. I saw her shadow at the last second. This guy's got 900 hit points, man. Oh, he's out. I'm trying not to wake them all up here. this. Ow. Do the smart way. No point in like facing him head on unless you absolutely have to. Especially with a thousand hit points and I don't feel like shooting anybody. Oh nice. They died at the same time. All right, now, question is, can I actually get into where this thing is without waking anybody else up? Quiet. That's a cop. Nope, that's a big boy. Okay, it's in this one, I think. There you are. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I don't mind if I wake people up now. Cool, well... That's three jobs today. No Wandering Horde. I'm glad that it was like right next to the one we just finished up because all the uh, zombies outside aren't here. We killed most of them earlier. Let's grab this stuff. Not a lot there. Alright. Well, we're on our way to making more coil stuff, so let's get back to the trader. Ooh, hazmat guy. Well, one, minus one hazmat guy. So the one thing about this town... Ooh, I'm going to stop right here real quick. There's a lot of... Um, looks like storage buildings and stuff here. We might be able to raid for some good gear. Scrap that. Scrap that. Take the sledge. Converge it with our ones that we have currently. All right, well, today was technically our free day. So tomorrow we might get a horde, which we'll fight at the old base, because obviously we don't have another one. Uh, I'm just going to drop whatever I can in here. I want to take the engine out. Let's see if he'll buy it. Put that in there. Anything else we didn't want to just sell him? I think we want to hang on to the anvil. I think we could just scrap one can. That we can throw. Actually, that... Uh, let's just trade that out with this one. Put the nine rounds in there, I think. I think I might just sell him these. Uh, we don't need this, but I think the rest of the stuff in here we can just sell. We'll sell him this. It's got barely anything left on it. Alright. The other thing we can do, too, while we're here. Well, it's still daytime. I think I'm going to stay here tonight. I'll search through his compound as well. Try and grab everything I can. Because I don't think we did grab. I think we can sneak under there. Yep. Everything from back here. Did we? No, we didn't. So we'll grab these guys. Yeah, so heavy armor schematic. Um, I'm finding... I'm just going to scrap this because I'm not going to make any bladed weapons with that. But um, if you go to heavy armor here... So I, I'm finding the skills a little less I don't know, important than before. So we have steel armor here. Which I think now comes under... Oh, we, don't, we need armor crafting for that anyway. Yeah, so even if I had like all three 
points into steel armor crafting, it would show up as not being red because it's not activated. Much like this, the vehicle for dumb shits is saying zero. So whenever I find a vehicle for dumb shits book, book it's going to say you haven't read it yet. Which, you know, it just is what it is. But um, I'm finding that we're probably, as long as we can get a laser workbench off Jen, which I'm hoping we do because I did in my other my offline series, if we can get one off Jen, then anything that we get on Horde Knight, we can merge up to level 80 in that thing. Whereas right now, the workbench that we have, we can only repair stuff up to whatever level it's at. Um, beyond 40, that is. Oh man, really? Good thing we found those lockpicks today. And yeah, I know I could break into it with the uh, crowbar, but I'm trying to stay quiet here as much as I can. Ah, uh, that's really nice. Excellent. Great prices. Do ya? Had to doubt that, but we'll see. We will take that for sale. Ooh, yeah. I don't think we're gonna go with the bow, but we will take that for selling. 22 rounds. It's a little lower than what I was... I would really go for, I guess. Uh, you don't want that. Because of course you don't. That and that. What kind of die you got? You got pink, so we'll take that out. Y'all come back now. Uh, modify you. Take that out. Hopefully our, our coil stuff is done. I don't know if we had to re... Like, reset those to go. I'll sell all those. Like, I didn't know if it's we had to... Yeah, I'm going to hold on until tomorrow to find out if you got any more fetches, because that's really the best choice at the moment. It's good money, and it's, it's quick. So let's go here, drop in what we can. We can get rid of you. We'll scrap you. Uh, we can drop that and that in there. What else? One jar. Drop you in there. I'm just going to go ahead and scrap those. Let's drop those in there. I think we're going to sell these guys. And that's it. We'll leave the bike there. I'm sure it's fine out there. Let's take a quick look around here. I don't think we went through... Did we before? No, we did not. 36 oil shell. 10 animal fat. And the forge should be in this one. Alright, some nails and some steel. Let's get that closed. And that closed. Actually... Let's grab you for springs. Good source of springs. It's nice that the zombies have been cleared out of here. Did we scrap the workbench when we were here? We did not. Yeah, of course. Cool. Did not check this guy, though. I think we're going to have to go outside in a second here. Yeah, I hear some zombies coming. Just a random zombie. Let's put a round in her head. Excellent. All quiet? Cool. I'm going to take this apart for the resources. I may want to set a chest down in here. Okay, that's done. Now, I think there's a few things left in here that we did not check out. Alright. Alright, looks like that's it up here. I'm gonna grab this stuff. You don't need your computer. Not like there's no any power anyway. You don't have a generator or anything here. Alright, so what do we get out of this place? Got a little bit of stuff, but not a lot. Some cans we can just scrap. Cooking pot we can scrap. I'm going to drop the flesh because we don't really need it. And some of the stuff we have in the bike, so I'm going to drop it in the bike. Alright, 49 polymers, not bad. 30 electrical parts. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's just double check outside here. Make sure there's nobody around. Looking pretty quiet. All right, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Um, probably shorter than normal, but it is after a horde, so there's not much we can do about that. And I'm going to spend the night here at Bob's, find out what quest he's got in the morning. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. 
Have a look at our faction too here with him here. Before we go. So we got uh what are we looking at with Bob here? Six. So we only got 18 with Hugh too. We may want to get his faction up again. But once again, like even once it does get up to a certain point, we're going to uh, need a hundred grand anyway to be able to buy a mastery off them. So it's still 24 quests here, 12 for Hugh. Yeah. I mean, I don't know which one I would rather have more of. I think labor is probably the best one. Like, what are we at now? I think we've only got... What are our masteries here, if we have any? I don't think we do, do we? Um, I think we're still... Yeah. And we still need to do Hunter, too. Right. I think I may knock that one off first before we do the mastery. Um, one skill point to spend. Mechanic. I think I'm going to go... Ah, man. We could go with more salvage. That's definitely doable. Lucky looter is nice, too. For more stuff out of loot. I think I'm going to go with that. Hopefully find more ammo. Alright, but I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.